This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Margo Hallam back with me, the Executive Director of our Perth and Smith Falls District Hospital Foundation. Welcome back. Thanks, Kathy. It's great to be here. Nice to see you. Now, we're going to talk about an event, and we've got an added little bit of surprise. Not surprise. We know she's going to be there, but let's talk about it. It's just a wonderful thing that's going to be happening. We're going to golf tournament. We have um, our Perth and Smith or Perth Foundation Charity Golf Tournament that's going to be held in Smith Falls at the Golf and Country Club, August twelfth, which is a Friday. Um, registrations at noon, shotgun at one, and we have just been um, told that we will have Brooke Henderson there for the day. So we are excited to have her join us for it and. All of our funds from this tournament will be matched by Canadian Pacific because we're their community partner for the Women's Open this year. So we're thrilled. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's so much fun to be, you know, we've been two years in a pandemic to be able to organize an event and you're going to be outdoors. It's going to be fun. We're going to be enjoying it. We're going to be safe and we're raising money for our hospital and Brooke Henderson's going to be there. Our local what a great girl. opportunity for all of us, really. Yes. You know, it, it really is nice. And, and the nice thing with this tournament is having the match donations. So if you give $10, you're actually getting 20 back. And all of the funds raised are going to cardiac care at our hospital. So, um, you know, we need those pieces of equipment as soon as we walk through the emergency room doors. So it's a, it's a really great opportunity for us to actually have our first live event as as uh, the Perth and Smith Falls District Hospital Foundation, so we're thrilled. We're we're thrilled to be um, kicking this off with a, a bang. Absolutely, absolutely. So you mentioned our, our cardiac care in our hospital. Can you speak a little bit more about that? Yeah, there's we have a, there's approximately twenty pieces of equipment that is specifically used for cardiac care, and it always needs to be upgraded. And we always need there's equipment to be purchased. It goes from everything from an ECG unit to defibrillators, uh, bedside monitors. Uh, the big ask for us this year is our pulmonary function unit. Um, so the monies that will be coming in will be going towards any of these uh, pieces of equipment that we'll need. Excellent, excellent. So the day itself is uh, Friday, August 12th. Now you're saying CP is going to be matching. It's, it's CP that's matching whatever you donate? That's correct. At the, the day that's of the, right. Okay. So all of the proceeds from the golf tournament are gonna be matched up to $100,000 by Canadian Pacific. So all of these monies that they will be purchasing the cardiac care, like I just spoke about. So yeah, all the funds raised. So our sponsorship dollars, the registration fee, um, it's a foursome that we're asking you to um, register uh, with your foursome so we can give you updates and everything else via email. So you're going to, from, from your registration fee, you will have your 18 holes of go golf, your cart fees, a three course plated dinner. We'll have live auction events or live auction pieces that will be up as well as um, on July. Oh, I should know this, shouldn't I, Kathy? July 17th, I believe, we'll be putting our silent auction up online. And I apologize. We're gonna, it's from July 22nd at noon until August 17th. So if you're not able to golf or you're not a golfer, but you'd like to contribute, um, take a look at our, our silent auction. Uh, it'll be up on our web as well. And again, that's just a little way that you can, you know, if, if you're interested in helping out that you can contribute if you, Excellent. I would like to say I have golf clubs, but not, I'm not at that uh, level of golfing. So the silent auction will be a nice option for people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And how do people register? They can call our office. Or we, and then you can, or on our website, you can go to our website and go under events and our golf course or the golf event um, or golf for heart icon is there. We're all on social media. There's links on our Instagram as well as our Facebook page. And um, yeah, if you have any issues, just don't hesitate to call the office. And this one's going to fill up fast, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've got uh, our sponsorship, uh, the people that came out for sponsorship. All of our um, levels were picked up last week. So, I mean, we're, we're over the moon with the support on this. But, yeah, the registration is, 
it is filling up actually. So yes. Excellent. Excellent. You've got a little, well, you got quite a bit of time left too, but uh, we, we want to get we in. Do. Don't be disappointed. Get in there. Well, that's just it. And it takes a little bit of time if you're putting together your foursome. So we understand that too. So we'll be until it, until it gets sold, we appreciate all the outreach you can help us with and what we're doing and word of mouth. And uh, we look forward to having as many people there as we possibly can, can accommodate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now your 50, 50 draws every month. Those are phenomenal that you're doing. Those are very successful. Yeah. Those have gone over really, really well for us. And um, it's been an opportunity. Again, you can do it from your home. You don't have to, to go anywhere or whatever. And the draw, uh, is coming up for the end of June. So if you haven't had an opportunity to get your tickets, please do so. Um, and those are only online. Those are based on the, um, uh, our lottery licenses strictly prohibits us from doing it face-to-face -face or whatever. So they're just online. Excellent, excellent. Now we're gonna to have to have you come back before your next event, that, uh, but let, let's touch, tell folks what you're gonna be doing with the Railway Museum. Well, yeah, we, we're working with the Railway Museum for an event that is, uh, uh, sort of a family fun day, if we like, um, use it fund with fund or fun, um, at the Railway Museum in Smith Falls on Saturday, the 23rd of July. And we're going to have live music. We'll have a barbecue by donation. Everything is free. So it's a free event for any families that wish to come from 10 till 4. So we'll have face painting and balloons and some other things that are going on. So we're excited. Again, it's just another way for us to be out there and um, thank the community that supported us through COVID and through everything else that's going on. So, and it's great to partner with them. And again, the funds from that, if it'll like the donation funds for um, barbecues or whichever come in, CP will be matching those funds as well. So um Canadian Pacific started in Smith Falls. That was their first railway. So it's a really great link for this initiative for us with Canadian Pacific. So we're thrilled to be uh, um, part of that. So yeah, we've got lots going on over the summer. Oh, you, you certainly do. Those are big events too. Big events. Yeah. So how do yeah. people get a hold of you if they want any more information about the 5050, uh, if they want more information about how to register for your golf tournament? Right. So if they want to just give our office a call, I think that would be the easiest way to do it. We can do 343-881-4483 is our office number. Or our website is psfdhfoundation.com. Excellent. So you'll, be able to, you'll be able to find all of our information for the events coming up there. Now, I drove by the hospital the other day and I saw your thermometer out front and you're halfway there to your goal of $100,000. So our summer appeal that was out, which is strictly just a, a donor mail out appeal to our community. Again, funds raised from our summer appeal will be going towards cardiac care and those funds do get matched again from Canadian Pacific. So we have an opportunity to um, receive five, well, we, if we raise $250,000, they provide $250,000. So this summer for us, we could potentially raise $500,000 for our hospitals. So right now we're at 50% of that summer appeal campaign. And I, I'm with the generosity of our community. I know we will be, um, reaching our goal for that. And for that, we're very grateful. You know, we, we have a great hospital and we have great physicians and, and support staff that are there. And uh, we want to make it the best care close to home for everybody within our catchment area. Absolutely, absolutely. I know you've got cardiac care close to home for your golf tournament, but it's, it's good quality health care all the way around for everybody. 